Good evening and welcome to the Rastafari Roots Fest live at the Long Bay Beach in Negril. Um, we are here with the, I think it's right to say, co-founders of the Roots Reggae and, and Culture magazine. Okay, so welcome this, the, the second co-founder. Um, introduce yourself, sir. Priest Dougie. Welcome, Priest Dougie. Um, tell us why. Why Rastafari Roots Fest? First of all, we are Roots Reggae and Culture magazine, and it's Roots Fest. We are Rastafari, and it's put on by Rastafari. So it's a natural part of our culture, so we are here to support and express our culture. Okay. And tell us, what is the purpose of this magazine? Why is this magazine necessary to be printed? It's a chronicle of our history, present history. It's also to educate, like my brethren said, the youth about the truth of their culture. To show them their culture in a modern way, making it more appealing and relevant to their existence. And can you tell us where we can find you and where can we access this magazine? Well, Roots is everywhere, but we are based in Florida okay. for right now, yes. you know, but we are back and forth between Jamaica and Florida. But we're all over the place. You can get roots in New York, Philadelphia, Washington. So it's international. So for, what about for Jamaican citizens or Jamaican visitors or Jamaican Country residents? Country Farm. Where, yeah, where are the outlets? Country Farm. What's the... Um, regular, um, meals on um, Meals. Veggie Wheels, uh, Meals on Wheels? On yes, meals. okay. So I'm interested from you live witness, you know, the evidence, talk to me. How does it feel to be here today and be part of this? It's a vindication mm -hmm. that the Rastaman that was always right. Yes. We have always been telling the world mm -hmm. that the ganja plant has healing properties. Yes. Now we're proving it yes. because we are being allowed to prove it. Can I stick a pin there? I don't like this word allowed. Why, why, why? Why should, ha why should we have been given permission to execute something that we knew was real from the beginning? What is that? What is this allowing? Who is this person or this entity or this energy that says that they can permit when we, who are the original custodians of the planet, to execute the real properties of our plants? You're perfectly right. And the people don't know that the power belongs to the people. That's right. Anytime we realize that the power abides with us, mm -hmm then we will exercise that power and demand our rights and not be allowed to That's exercise right. those rights. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Um, t tell us briefly about your, um, your projects with regards to healing persons through this herb. Well, like the Virgin said, I work with a team of doctors and a team of scientists that's been in this space for several years. Right. We have hybridized a strain of cannabis mm -hmm called the APM, the Apollon Medical, yes. which we use to treat various illnesses. We have been doing clinical trials on the, an MOU from the University of the West Indies okay. in the past two years. Mm -hmm. And we have seen magnificent success in what we are attempting to do. Right. We have seen patients come to us as a last resort with stage four cancers. Mm -hmm given over to death. Stage four? Stage four, wow. given over to death, given two months, yeah. some less. And we have a patient right now who was given two months to live and she's lived past a year and is in much healthier condition than when she came to us. Yes. And we have used this special herb, this special APM to treat ulcerated colitis, yes. lung cancer, mm -hmm. breast cancer, mm -hmm. and we have seen the power of the healing of the nation. It shrinks tumors, mm -hmm. and that's a fact. Okay, I'm, I, I mean, I, that's mind-blowing. This is history, you know, so um, thank you. Thank you very much. Just tell us again who you are and why this magazine is important. Well, I'm the president of Roots Foundation, mm -hmm. the company that publishes Roots Reggae and Culture. He's the editor-in-chief, and we publish this magazine, like we say, to educate our upcoming generation about their roots and culture. Part of that culture is as we speak about the medical properties of the ganja plant, which the Rastaman been telling the world about for many, many, many decades. Yeah. So it is a very important piece of media 
that we are trying to keep alive, yes. to give the voice to the voiceless, mm -hmm. and to help demand the rights of the disenfranchised. Beautiful.